Good morning, everyone. Well, the dollar is mostly lower against the G10 currency this morning, but uh, higher against the emerging market currencies. Comments by outgoing Fed Chairman Bernanke that uh, rates will remain low uh, long after the Fed's ended its monthly bond purchases, coupled with comments overnight from uh, Chicago Fed President Evans that the Fed should wait till maybe March of next year before beginning to taper, have kept the dollar under pressure. It's noticeable, though, that the euro managed to firm despite some similarly dovish comments from ECB officials yesterday. Looks to me like market participants think there's more disagreement on the strategy on the ECB Council than there is with the Fed. Tomorrow's preliminary Eurozone PMIs could confirm or shift attitudes towards what the ECB is likely to do. I think they'll be important for the market. Uh, the big uh, exception to the weak dollar trend today was dollar yen. Dollar yen rose after Japan posted its biggest October trade deficit ever. The need to import oil into Japan is just uh, crushing the country's trade account and adding to pressure for the Bank of Japan to support the economy. So I expect the yen to weaken further because the Fukushima nuclear disaster is nowhere near under control yet. Uh, today the focus is going to be on the release of the minutes from the recent Bank of England and FOMC meetings. I expect the Bank of England in its won't really add that much to what we know after the recent inflation report, so they might not have that much impact on, on rates. The FOMC minutes are likely to be more informative, but uh, not necessarily more market moving. The market will be looking to see if there's any consensus on the FOMC about when to start tapering and whether to strengthen the Fed's forward guidance. As for indicators, the only important ones out today are from the U.S., and uh, the market consensus for them is to be largely dollar negative, so I think we could have a rough day for the dollar today. Core retail sales are expected to rise at a slower pace, CPI is expected to show slowing inflation, and existing home sales are expected to have fallen at a faster pace in October than in September. All of these are worrisome trends for the Fed, and so not good for the dollar. For more information, uh, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Gittler, head of Global FX Strategy at INFX, wishing you solid trading.